Introduction The Power of Now presents a compelling and highly practical pathway for reaching spiritual enlightenment and fulfillment through fully embracing the present moment. Author Eckhart Tolle outlines how identifying excessively with our thoughts and ego creates dysfunction, stress, and a disconnection from inner stillness. He skillfully guides readers into a state of presence beyond the habitual stream of thinking, a realm of deep inner peace and awakened perception that reveals the truth of who we are. Tolle establishes his core teaching, that rather than being an unchanging identity created by our thoughts and personal history, what we are in essence is far greater than any concept or label. Our true nature is the very conscious presence that is capable of recognizing these words you are reading right now. When we can disentangle our sense of I from the drama and narrative spun incessantly by the mind, we reconnect with our authentic self as the spacious awareness that exists prior to thought. This brings a flowering of intuition, contentment, and a felt sense of connection to all life. The Illusory Self A foundational premise Tolle establishes is the difference between awareness itself and the transient content that passes through it. We have gotten into the unconscious habit of equating our sense of identity with the unceasing mental commentary running through our heads, the voice of me and my story. But the thoughts and emotions that come and go are simply passing clouds, not ourselves. We are the vast sky-like awareness field in which experiences arise then pass away. When we confuse transient content for our identity, Tolly says we become lost in the illusory self, the egoic mind with its constructed sense of self. The ego arises as a defensive contraction against the uncertainty of life and tries to reinforce a fictional identity for security. This false self is the source of all inner dysfunction, the critical voice which is never satisfied, always seeking, resisting the simplicity of the present in favor of mental projections about the past and future. The voice in the head distracts us from the joy of immediate experience by instead generating an endless stream of commentary, judgment and noise. We come to erroneously believe our worth and completeness depend on external factors like achievements, possessions, relationships, anything we can attach a mental position to. This keeps perception trapped in the realm of form identity and conceals our true nature as the spaciousness in which everything appears. Tolle points to the voice in the head as the means through which we become entranced in the dream state of ordinary unconsciousness. When left unquestioned, thinking creates the illusion of separateness, a disconnected me encapsulated within a physical form. This strengthens ego at the expense of our shared universal essence, and obscures the sacredness of the present moment. Freedom from suffering. The price we pay for over-identifying with the mind and its repetitive thought patterns is a loss of fulfillment, peace, and sense of meaning. We search outside ourselves for wholeness, habitually reaching to the next thing or experience to provide a temporary sense completeness. But no matter how strenuously the ego strives to organize the present moment so it is free of uncertainty and unpleasantness, it can never feel truly at peace. Tolle points out the irony that almost all human suffering is created mentally. The present moment itself has no problems, it just is what it is. Reality unfolds perfectly without needing anything additional. It is only through our compulsive judgment of the now as not okay, our endlessly trying mentally escape into a fictional better future or rewritten past that emotional pain arises. In other words, suffering is created by resisting what actually is in this moment, rather than fully accepting the suchness of now. When we are at odds with reality, rather than consciously allowing the unfolding of each experience, we identify with positions of preference that generate conflict and fear whenever life fails to conform to our demands. This forces perception to contract into a narrow conceptualized view of the world. Freedom from suffering and awakening to peace is not created by changing outer conditions to match our preferences, but through surrendering mental positions by dropping into the body and fully immersing awareness into the alive, sensate moment. When presence replaces resistance, perception immediately expands and we reconnect to our natural state. Thoughts are not the problem. Tolle does not equate thinking with unconsciousness, but rather our habitual over-identification with thought and the sense that it accurately represents who we are. Thinking itself is a key evolutionary capacity and creative tool when consciously directed. But in most people it operates on autopilot, endlessly generating narratives about me, my life, my future, my problems, a mental noise that pervades almost all waking moments. Few question thought self-referencing assumption that it accurately reflects the totality of who we are. This creates an opaque veil over perception rather than clear seeing. Tolle emphasizes that thoughts only have the power over us that we unconsciously give them. Believing every passing notion reinforces ego's false certainty about life and its compulsion to interpret events based on past conditioning, instead of responding spontaneously to the aliveness and newness inherent in the now.
The key is to relinquish belief in the mind's commentary and instead sink into the silent realm of being that lies underneath the voice in the head. This breaks the hypnotic grip of ego, realigning identity with presence rather than an ever-changing personal narrative about me. When we observe thoughts rather than automatically following them, the grip of ego loosens and we gain access to deeper dimensions of understanding. We reconnect with our innate capacity to respond intuitively in accordance with the needs of the present moment. The pain body. In his teachings, Tolley brings attention to the unconscious forces that override conscious intention. He outlines how all egoic structures carry residual pain from past experiences that form an energy field he calls the pain body. This energy field lives within the mind but is distinct from normal thinking. The pain body thrives on negativity for its survival. When dormant, it lies in wait for a trigger to allow it to rise up and hijack our thoughts and emotions, projecting grievances from the past onto the present. Its food is any unpleasantness or drama which it then identifies with through thought loops, strengthening self-concepts of victimhood. We all carry pain bodies inherited from our ancestral past, as well as built up through childhood conditioning and traumatic experiences that left psychic scarring. The emotional pain becomes part of our unconscious identity, making it feel comforting and familiar rather than something to relinquish. Tolley sees the pain body as one of the key obstacles to presence. Even when consciously committed to spiritual growth, the dormant pain from our past lives on through inner energetic formations that retain imprints of old emotional pain. The pain body activates whenever present events resonate with its buried memories of suffering, prompting it to contract our field of perception by co-opting attention into its repetitive mental loops. This creates a gravitational pull away from conscious presence into past identity. However, through sustained awareness and non-identification with its disturbances, the pain body loses energy and its grip over our sense of self less sends it dies through lack of attention, as we cease feeding it with unconsciousness. Over time this diminishes its power so that we can reside more permanently in the space of presence. Acceptance and Surrender The cornerstone of Tolley's approach for reconnecting to inner stillness is through acceptance and surrender. He defines acceptance as a conscious decision to relinquish mental resistance to actual reality, rather than arguing with what is or attempting to mentally edit the now to conform with our preferences. This allows us to release the conflict with life itself. Surrender arises naturally once unconscious resistance falls away. It signifies trusting in the higher benevolent intelligence that choreographs the dance of life. We let go of ego's attempt to control outcomes by overriding universal flow with rigid demands about what should be happening. Instead we allow this moment, and life itself, to move through us without imposing preconceived notions upon it. Surrender offers no absolute guarantees about the future, but aligns us with the creative potential of presence itself, the evolutionary impulse of the universe. Acceptance and surrender together culminate in forgiveness of what is, which lifts perception beyond the dualistic categories of good and bad. We relinquish false notions that reality should conform to our desires. Instead we open to what is actually happening, without needing to label it or react. This completes the realignment of perspective from ego to universal flow. When we accept rather than resist, defend, or attempt to escape this moment, identity shifts from thoughts and emotions to conscious embodiment itself, to simply being the space of presence. This transports awareness from time-bound suffering into the realm of the timeless, unchanging now, which welcomes all changing forms equally. Living Consciously once free from over-identifying with thinking and the mind's relentless commentary, we can learn to utilize thought's capacity creatively rather than remaining lost in its repetitive loops. We become capable of consciously directing attention towards productive uses that align with purpose and values. Tolley offers guidance on retaining conscious presence during everyday activities. He emphasizes keeping attention grounded in physical sensation whenever possible rather than getting sucked back into mental noise. For instance washing dishes consciously means focusing on the actual tactile experience rather than daydreaming. This creates an embodied richness which infuses aliveness into ordinary moments, instead of perceiving daily activities as a means to an end. We uncover the joy of immediacy. Tolley also explores the notion of purposeful thought and conscious creation. When aligned with inner stillness rather than egoic ambition, our capacity for conceptualization and visualization can be directed towards manifesting creative projects that arise from being itself. This is very different than the compulsive doing mode that stems from ego's sense of lack and need for attainment as a substitute for presence. Conscious creating means allowing inspiration to emerge from the unified field of consciousness when the mind is settled in stillness, rather than forcing outcomes. It signifies a reclaiming of thought's sacred dimension, the marriage of being and mind to express higher purpose. 
for conscious creating to unfold, Tolle emphasizes the mind state must be clear of egoic identification, immersed in the present moment. When thought arises from the stillness of presence rather than personal fear and desire, it carries tremendous potential. The Unmanifest Source A defining aspect of Tolle's teachings is illuminating the unmanifest dimension, the unseen formless realm that underlies all perceptible form. He describes the unmanifest as the inexhaustible creative potency out of which everything in existence emerges and returns to, including our sensory experiencing self. It is not an external god but the very ground or screen on which the entire movie of life arises. Nothing is separate or divided from this flowing living intelligence that orchestrates the whole dance of creation. When conscious connection to the unmanifest is lost, perception becomes encapsulated in the realm of form, the world of things, events, and experiences. However, when perception penetrates beyond form identity, we reconnect with our source. Portals into the unmanifest present through any gaps or emptiness which draw attention beyond the perception of solid forms, the silent spaciousness between thoughts, the stillness underneath sensory experience, surrender of mental positions, letting go of definitions and judgments. As we relinquish over-identification with mental content and sink into the formless aliveness in these openings, separation and suffering subside. The illusion of being an isolated fragment of awareness trapped inside a body dissolves back into unified vibrant presence. Tolle sees conscious connection with the unmanifest, our ground of being, as the ultimate purpose behind his teachings, not simply for alleviating suffering but as a homecoming into the realm of the sacred, where transient forms are infused with eternal essence. This invites perception to reunite with itself across the dimensions. In summary, the power of now points eloquently to how freedom from suffering and a joyful awakening to our full potential lies in transcending the habitual thoughts of egoic mind to reconnect with our essential nature as conscious presence. When we cease over-identifying with the turbulent stream of thinking and shifting content, we discover within us the unconditional fulfillment our searching mind continually seeks from the external world. We come home to who we are beyond all labels and limiting roles, the vast unconditioned awareness that we have always longed for. The present moment opens into a portal where heaven and earth meet. All that is left is to step through.